xin chào good evening uh, a little bit scary right now um, so ladies and gentlemen friends um, I have two good news for you tonight the the very first first uh, good news is and um, the last one and the night is still young uh, and by now is very exciting so okay I will we'll make it short uh, second good news is Today is a very important day, and it's a wonderful day in terms of the universal law that um, the universal arrange everything from million years that for for us to all come here tonight together because everyone have uh, agenda, everyone have meaning, everyone have something cannot attend tonight, but only hundred of us here tonight. So congratulations, everyone. So because of that, uh, let's talk a little bit about magic. Magic is good. Uh, uh, yep, this is Mr. Boom, who have tattoo. Uh, not only one, have two. Um, teaching in some university, doing some vegan, do some ambassador job. So that's the reason why I'm the last one was sitting here. Uh, you know that I spent 10 years practice feng shui or feng tui. That is the thing that we have to pay a lot of money to ask the feng shui guy to check your house, to check your body, to check your health. But tonight uh, it's for free. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, Anyone want to join me for a feng shui session right now? Anyone? Okay, that's good. Okay, um, could you please hold the hand of the box, somebody next to you? Hold two hands. Hold, yep, just hold two hands. Hold. hold the hand. Is it warm? Is it hot? Is it wet? Is it hard? Okay, okay. Then look at their eyes. Look at, look at their eyes. And please repeat after me. You are a very nice person. I like you a lot. Please repeat after me. Say it. You are a very nice person. I like you a lot. A little bit louder, please. You are a very nice person. I like you a lot. Okay, then you give it your friend a hug, please. As strong as possible. Yeah, okay. Let's give a hug. So, you know what? That is the very, very important mantra of magic work in the Feng Shui world. If we hold on together, what is the last time, when was the last time you say to somebody that you love them, you liked them, or you helped them with very strong uh, hands? This is something magic. This is interpersonal. This is the thing that my master, who, who, who is the billionaire from Switzerland, told me that. Because of that, you just saying that you love somebody, you like somebody, you deliver the love speech, then the world around you getting better. Then the positive energy will bring you to the next level of your dreams. And you got all the support the universe has to make your dream come true. That called universal universal magic. For example, what is the universal magic? Have you ever know that the ants from our house, whenever they move their house to a higher place that means three days later the rain will come or the block will come or some dragonfly can detect very well when the sun is come or the rain is coming in vietnamese uh, fairy tale we always say con con là cậu ông trời that the frog is controlling everything related to the weather to protect our environment our fields that is the universal magic that the animal has. We used to have that magic. 
you know that in in feng shui we try to to find how to harmonize the water and the wind in the house how to live harmony with the nature then i i learned that some tiger or some wolf whenever the the mother needed to give birth they can find exactly the best cake for them high secret try and everything is ready for giving birth for the tiger baby is coming for the new world is coming so they is the master of country not me we used to have the power like that we just lost it we just totally lost it our great great parents used to see the morning times and know what happened in the fields our grandparents used to know exactly the meaning of some talk or some some animals is sounds what does it mean we used to live with nature we used to walk with our feet facing touching the mother earth we used to face our skin with the sun then someday we invented the slipper or the shoes to protect our feet we invented the head or the umbrella and someday we invented the air conditioner like now so we close the door enjoy the comfortable of the weather inside the room and we throw all the hot air to our neighborhood and we cut all the connection with nature and we totally get lost with the universal magic this is my wife this is my wife she she's a city city lady okay not city girl anymore uh, she travel around the world she's is a chairwoman of some companies in Ho Chi Minh City and some one day she feel like the city is poisoning her her heart her mind so he escaped she escaped moved back to Hoi An living in the garden and struggle with everything every day she get angry with with him, her, her husband <laughs> why is that the city lady cannot survive in the countryside somebody talk in Hoi An accent she cannot understand she she had nothing then okay day by day she learned yoga is something to understand her inside shut inside herself to know about what her breath what her blood and she had to wake up a little bit earlier because of what 8 a.m is the time that all the chicken have to occupy the garden there the landlord not her she had to move back to her room and the, the garden is belong to the chicken then she learned how to talk with the cow learn how to survive with a snake in the uh, middle of her bed know everything and don't scare anything she know how to be part of the new ecosystem talking with the rock talking with the white flowers sometimes i said okay my wife is turning crazy or not <laughs> no she built a connection she start to understand herself she just a part of the nature and that is common international and she want to become a tree hugger a tree hugger hugging the tree and science scientists prove that whenever you hug a tree go to your brain behave differently your blood flow slowly and you feel a little bit calm 
strife is gone away, and for now, she wants to nurture a healing forest. But the forest is not finished yet. Then she sometimes loads some of her stuff and need a husband who is the feng shui teller to do some magic to find her closing stuff. Yes, at least she, be, she believed that her husband have a magic that could be. This is my nephew. Opposite side. Uh, yeah. He is not the chairman of any company. Uh, he is my nephew. And he is my secret weapon. Whenever my friends, my clients ask me to do the feng shui audit for some house, I just lazy enough to borrow this little boy bring to the house. And you, all of you experienced about that. It's somehow the little baby sleep very peacefully. In some other house, they cannot sleep, they cry all night and night. The kid met some people and they just let them go, uh, hug them, do whatever they want, they play with the people, the new one. But somebody, they, the kid never allowed them to touch. Because the kid, they are not poisoned by the education system that you said. They're pure, they, they pure and they have the own powers of the universal. We used to have the power. The kid, the little baby is the, the best, the best feng shui detector ever. We used to have. And the kiss is growing, become my son. The one who said that, okay, 300,000 for the ticket is uh, not refundable, but if my switch is bad, I have to pay back 60,000 for him. The, he's still a student. And because of my son, okay, I think that he is a stupid student. Uh, you can uh, fix that. But he wants to apply for one of the most competitive um, work, uh, conference in the world. It's the internship for a ranger in uh, London, UK. And I said, okay, just go for that. He said, I'm so scared. I said, no. Whenever you start, you have 1% of successful. Otherwise, you didn't start. You never have any percent of successful rate. Then he start with 1% and the rest, okay, because he really want people to come and help. Same like, like you said, he start very simple, what he really want to do and people come and do it together. This is the universal magic, come and help, because this guy know the universal language, which is smile. We all born alone, but we're not living alone. We're living together and we speak different languages. But smile is the universal language. Any more don't smile, we smile. So you, you smile because yes, that is part of the universal magic. But this is, the pictures have to be one of my favorite book of all time, named Never Eat A Lot. I believe that some of you might know that book, Never Eat A Lot. I read that book like 10 times. I bought like hundreds of that book give away from so many people that I care. That book is great. It teach me all the tacticals I need to survive in this chaos world. How to please this guy, how to please that lady. I know every single post that she, she bought. I know her favorite food, I know his favorite song. Then whenever we met, 
Wow, they think that okay, Bung is a good guy. He know everything. He care about me. Yeah, that's true. And then we have to buy something from me. Then someday, with like Penamsa, beginner mind, I read that book again, and I think that okay, thing that happened to me ten years continuously. I study everything to build a fake relationship to selling something. Why you have to do that? We come to this world. What is the mission? I'm not come here, handsome, just to selling stupid stuff. No, I'm not. I come here to the world to be happy. And maybe to make the hours a little bit better. So I throw that book to the the trust me, and I believe that every one of us have should sometime eat along with you yourself. Nowadays with your smartphone, you know everything, every single thing in the world. Just not yourself. Who you are, what you want to do, what you love. How about your dreams? How about your childhood dream? When you was a child, you have a dream to be an actor, to be a monk, to be a rock star. You don't have to be a banker. You don't have to work for at a seller. You can do everything you want. Just do it because the all the universal will support your dreams. This is boom again. As the chief crow officer of an artificial intelligence company. Boom is talking with the French Prime Minister last month about AI. So Boom is working every day with data, with machine, with analytic, with optimization, with logistic, with a lot of things. Artificial intelligence is cool. It's a new future. Is the empire coming? They smarter than us. They know better than us. Sometimes they understand us better than us because they they tracking every single thing I do, website I read, uh, people I talk, keyword I type, so they know me better than me. That's scary. Sometimes you experience that you just talk with your friend, talking by voice, and Facebook will show some advertising exactly what you are talking. Because artificial intelligence also know about universal magic. That's good. Then someday, this gentleman, the French Prime Minister told me that artificial intelligence is machine learning, right? Yes, sir. Machine learning, learn from where? Learn from who? Who teach the machine to be more intelligent? Yeah, it's from us. Okay, so what make we better than, than the machine? The answer is not from now. The answer is from one of my favorite star, John Lennon, 40 years ago. What make us better? What make us be the winner in the artificial intelligence times, age, is we are a child of nature. 
We're just a child of nature, and we want to return to our home, to our mother earth, to reconnect with the nature, to reconnect with the world. We are born along with all the magic that the universe gave us. We growing up, we interact with each other, we stay interpersonal to love each other. We living with the garden, with the sea, with the forest, we do international. We speaking in international language. We are interbeing and we are living in this world just a child of nature. We are interdependent with the nature, with the universal. So if you believe that you are the son of the nature, so whatever you want to do, reconnect with nature, with your mom, your mother earth, then the whole universal will support you to make your dream. Thank you.